that's the thing. You got to take a little chance, go out, you know, just go with your gut feeling. That gut feeling dragged this man all over the salt flats late this summer when a fireball burst into the sky above the Wasatch Front earlier this month. Meteorite hunters immediately began charting a course for Utah in hopes of finding remnants of the space rock. Recently, a man credited with finding some of the first pieces took Chopper 5 over that area for a fresh look. New specialist Andrew Adams has a story you're seeing only on KSL 5. Chopper 5 is no stranger to impromptu adventures. But this was no ordinary assignment. Uh, my mic cuts in and out, is that normal? And Sonny Clary Hit that right side over there. was no ordinary passenger. I'm sure there's some beautiful meteorites in these ponds. Clary is a meteorite hunter. That's the thing, you gotta take a little chance, go out, you know, just go with your gut feeling. And today, from the air, he was showing us exactly how he hunts. You want to zip across that? You don't mind, do you? Here now, if we could see an impact crater right here, this would be right in line. After a recent fireball in the sky over the Wasatch Front, proved to be a meteorite. You know, roughly, I think they said 800 pounds, and two, and two feet around, somewhere in there. These meteorites are very dense. Several hunters came out to this stretch of remote desert near the Great Salt Lake. These guys are some serious hunters, though. He's the guy that found that 400 grammar. While Clary knew many of them. Any more? Well, right on, buddy. I'll be back out tomorrow. Yeah, they're my friends, but they're not, you know, they're like competitors. It was his goal to get to the remnants of the meteorite first. No, this is a good area. Finding a chunk of space rock is far from easy. Well, the other thing is when you find one, there's going to be multiple pieces around it. They just don't fall by themselves. What looks promising from a distance right down below us right here. can often be deceiving. Yeah, it looks something down there. Like a cluster of wood blocks. It's nothing. Else. But this is a ideal surface. God, it's like, I need to come back here tomorrow. This, this is an ordinary chondrite. These are the most uh, you know common mirrors. It was Clary's innate sense that led him to one of the first known pieces here. You can see where it uh, hit the ground. Nobody is certain yet what it contains. Falling from outer space and now it's in my hand and now the, you know, the scientists can take it. Until they put it on a probe and look inside, the treasures will be there. And it's that desire to uncover those treasures. This is showing the actual debris or meteors flying through the atmosphere. That brought Clary back to add to his trove. If the returns with the wind drift, this would be an ideal location in here as we're at now. Clary's intel told him this would be a good place to look for additional pieces. In any direction could be the 30 to 50 to 100 gram piece. But after stumbling across a few possibilities. I would say basalt. The meteorite hunter came up empty handed. What you gotta do though is, <laughs> this is a terrestrial rock, but you've gotta know what a meteorite looks like. When it came time to take off, Clary was already riding an incredible high. For me to find that and say, hey, I found it. This is the first piece. It's going to the university to be studied. It's like, I won. And hunting for space rocks in a helicopter. You might have started something this way. I mean, this is an easy way to rule out an area. Was an experience simply out of this world. I can't say how many times, you know, you get skunked, but that's just part of the game. It's just that love to get out and look. And even if you don't find anything, Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But what a great hobby to come out, explore, and uh, spend time outdoors. Andrew Adams, Castle 5 News.